Today's indigenous youth struggle with identity more than many seem to think. The effects of urbanization has had on their mental health is often overlooked and has a lot to do with figuring out their identity between cultural and urban identity. This is how I plan to solve this issue. The effects of urbanization on the Native American population has long been a concern talked about throughout the years. It has impacted generations of indigenous peoples, even down to today, where the current youth still struggle with the mental and emotional effects that urbanization has had on them and their view on identity since birth. My name is Cadence Tapia, and I'm an indigenous youth from Santa Clara Pueblos in New Mexico. My day is pretty regular, yet I find myself struggling with walking in two worlds. I am not the only one that feels this way. I have interviewed two others who also feel stuck in between. Um, so my day morning starts out just waking up. You know, now since time changed, I don't not very happy about waking up to the sun. Um, it's basically the same schedule. I just come here to school, go to Brace Connection, go go to my classes, and I'm constantly moving around. So after school ends, I go to practice. Once practice is over, I'm already at um, study hall. Study hall's over. I only got like probably an hour and a half or so to do just my homework. My name is James Carice. I am from San Domingo. I mainly do digital art. Uh, not really as traditional, more like some urban stuff. Like sometimes I'll be in my dorm and the other dorm, the other, the other people at the dorm, other students will be like playing their drums and like singing in the, in the living room. Like, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I just don't feel as, I don't feel as native as them. I don't know what it is, and maybe, maybe because I'm too, maybe because I have like a lot of schoolwork to do, or I don't know, or maybe it's just me not wanting or having that like, that like boost to go out and like, you know, learn about my tradition. Mm. I think that's it, yeah. Many young natives struggle with learning their tradition. The surrounding influence of Western urban culture, as well as the school day taking up most of our day, causes many to feel uninterested in their culture. This is not a new concept, but one that has been around for many generations. The first thing I was trying to learn how to talk my language. I mean, I understood it because my parents talked it but I never really talked it because where we lived, that's all we talked was English. Kids around there were the white kids, Mexican, Spanish kids, and uh, all we communicated was through English. But I understood our language because my mom and dad talked it, but I never, I never spoke it until I came here to New Mexico. And I lived with my grandparents, and they're the ones who pushed me to learn to talk it. Sure, I made a lot of mistakes, but they helped me. This is not the only cause of cultural loss and confusion in identity. Native youth throughout history have had many struggles. The first struggle was their forced assimilation in the years 1790 to 1920. The forced assimilation took Native children from their home communities and into boarding schools. This stripped them of their culture and identity in hopes that they could reassimilate them into white culture. A famous quote from this time was, kill the Indian and save the man, which they had hoped to do with this forced assimilation. In the 1950s, native youth faced a new challenge. The Relocation Act moved many young natives from the reservation to the cities. This resulted in the concept of an urban native. The Relocation Act of the 1950s encouraged and forced Native Americans to move from the reservations and into cities for job opportunities. This significantly increased the 
urban Native American population in the upcoming decades. In uh, Tuella, Utah, uh, it was uh, <laughs> it was like um, a whole new experience for me because when you're used to living in an urban area where you have everything, like I said, where you have a home, you have your own rooms. You have water, you have your own bathrooms, your own showers, everything that you can I didn't like it. I wanted to go back home, well, home, that's what I called it. I wanted to go back there because I had everything there. And here, I mean, family was here, my grandma, my grandpa, and everybody was here, but, but when you're so used to having everything conveniently for you, you know, you have everything there and you come here and it's a whole completely different generation, a whole completely different lifestyle. Um, when I was little, I used to live in a more um, urban um, living space after moving Back here to New Mexico, I live in a more traditional, and I live in the Pueblo. Um, yes, I actually do see both. Uh, I have to travel to both urban and traditional areas, and I think I see more of the urban areas, um, I guess, because I'm just so used to it. And here at school, we don't really see as much traditional, and then when I'm outside of, like, in Albuquerque or in Santa Fe, there's a lot of urban urban stuff I see. Although there are urban influences all around, a space for traditions is always welcomed. Um, here at the dorms, there's a lot of like meditation and now the boys are singing um, in our um, in our heart room. So that really helps and it's just like a really positive way to like set the mood back and to have a peaceful night. And there's um, also EP as well, where we do traditional doings. There are ways to help your mental health while figuring out your identity. One of these methods is meditation. Tribes, Pueblos, trying to bring a more modern view into their cultures and traditions, such as modern art, um, film, bringing um, different modern techniques into their agriculture, into building, and but trying to also keep with culture and traditions such as language, their dances, their practices, we meditate. and how when you do get stressed just to go back to your safe space and then just to think about it more when you're comfortable again. I think this would be a good place to stop. Thank you um, everyone for coming and participating in my action plan. With bringing awareness that this is not a problem you are alone in and that you can help, I hope that everyone watching this can feel a bit more seen. Thank you.